Hey guys, Remska here and welcome to the Stanley Parable Part 2. So, uh, I don't remember how much endings we did last time. I think three of them? I mean, I even don't remember my steps. But okay, we'll try to do this. Okay, you know the story. This is the story of a man named but Stanley. I'm gonna do is just Stanley for those for who are watching this big building and where forgot. He was employee okay. number 427. Listen. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Okay. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on a monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, drink. he got up from his desk and walked out into the hallway. Okay, so we're back again in the Stanley Parable. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was you, terrifying you, to you. him. Do you hear this beat? This beat is so when awesome. Stanley came to a set yeah. of two open doors. He okay, so let's go to the left. This was not the correct yeah, way to the care, employee dude. lounge. Actually, and Stanley care. knew it perfectly well. So he turned left at the first open door no. and walked back in the right direction. No, dude. Stanley was so <clears> bad at following directions, it's incredible okay, he wasn't so, uh, fired years ago. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. We and went since he was walking uh, into the middle of nowhere down, and thus ruining uh, the last time. Story, so now Stanley decided we're going that he to would go up. Himself. So when and he then came to we're the going to go down and, the doors opened, and enter the red door and push the things it's all the endings. Up. But I, I'm not actually sure. Hmm. Oh, we forget to load the game then. We forget to pre uh, to you know get the control of everything. Yeah, so where are we going to the, um, what direction? I forgot. No matter. Why can't I sprint? I'm such a fat ass. God dang it. What? No. You mean, no. Duh. No. Okay, fine. What's gonna happen next? Huh? It almost perplexed Stanley that he had actually gone and stepped into this metal trap. After all, it should have been no surprise that this thing would lead him to his death. Mm. But he thought to himself, this is simply the price to pay for ruining a what? perfectly good story. Dude, Stanley, don't, so don't say that, please. So willingly accepted his fate, the inevitable end I'm really hungry. toward I'm which he had spent so long chips. stumbling. I'm sorry. Farewell, Stanley. I'm sorry. <laughs> Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as he sent his subject down the conveyor belt and into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every hmm. bone in his body. New narrator? Instantly. Nice. I like this girl's voice. Um. What? She said I'm dead now. What the hell? You know what? I'm not gonna go there. Seriously. 
Let's find a way out. Oh, okay. I mean, that, why not? Okay. It's a shame then that for all his work, it was such a meaningless victory for the narrator. Did he yes. really think he would accomplish Let's anything play it. by the murdering just play, his disposable plays like, vessel? Stays here in the corner and plays it. It's unreal, guys. And they should have put the chest right way. Some kind of strange stuff here. <gasps> oh god, I, I was scared about this monitor, so it was a jump scare. I'm actually still thinking about the um, that this is a horror game because it's kind of Every creepy. Every choice Stanley could make had been designed for him long before he ever set foot here. The narrator wanted to kill him. Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start. No, I'm not dead, dude. Um, girl, I'm not. What? No, I'm not going to jump. Why? Give me the reason to jump. Seriously. But okay. There's no salvation for either of these two, I'm afraid. The narrator had as little power over Stanley as Stanley did over the paths that he walked. Hmm. But listen to me. This story is not over. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape okay. and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, Hell choose no, it. Girl. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Um... Yeah... I mean, uh, <laughs> let's load the game. Okay, no currently save games. God dang it! God dang it! Okay, man, new game. Start. Well, that was pretty fucked up this ending. Is the story of a man named okay, Stan. Well, you know already the story. Let me just get one chip. Okay. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. Okay, so uh, I mean, now we need to go to the terrible. red door. When Stanley came to a set of Fuck two off, dude. Doors, Seriously. this was not the correct no, way I don't the employee lounge. I don't Stanley care if this is not the correct way. Well. It's correct for me. So he turned left at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. Ah, uh, no. Hell no. Stanley the way, was so bad at following windows? directions. It's, it's incredibly wasn't fired years building. ago. How Maybe this is where everyone had the left. Oxygen. No one wanted to be around someone as bad now. at listening as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. I won't punish so when myself. he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. Hmm. Hell no. Down, buddy. Yeah. Oh, Stanley. <sighs> hmm. You know. You really aren't going anywhere, and I, I don't, don't care. say that deceitfully. I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. The story was back up where I told you to go in the first place. Right now, you're just running around looking at empty halls. And frankly, that's perhaps even more infuriating for me. So why don't you throw me a bone? Give me a chance and just let me tell the story I want to tell. Ah, hmm? uh, I mean, okay. I'm fine, I'm gonna follow your directions. Now give me the direction for the red door and I'm gonna do this. Now listen carefully, mm -hmm. this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Mm-hmm. Um Good, good. Now if you don't mind, there's something I'd like to show you. But to do that. I think it would be best for us to start from the beginning. Mm -mm. 
Wait. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? No. Why death? Why everyone Stanley wants to kill me? Stanley worked for a company me. in a big building where he was employee number 427. His job pushing buttons demanded little of him, so there was not much of himself to give. And in this way, Stanley's job felt less and less like his every day. But if buttons need pushing one day, it means they'll need pushing the next and then the next. Hmm. So without question or judgment, oh, so actually Stanley do continued need to, to push do the what buttons. the screen told him. Okay. One keystroke flowed into another keystroke, flowed into his ride home, flowed into dinner, flowed into waking okay. up, flowed into going to work, and here he was again. Stanley was typing out a complete sentence that said absolutely nothing at all. Agreed, dude. If in reality no one ever actually disappeared from the office and Stanley never got the opportunity to make a decision, to choose which path he but wanted to take, would his life still have any meaning? Um, what are you Perhaps talking when about? when we long for something deeply enough, these hopes and fantasies become so strong in our minds I don't want to do this. that we truly believe that we're there, controlling that person and living there is no one adventure. here. What the fuck? To manipulate your own thoughts Please and emotions file a text for might okay. mean freedom from a self-imposed prison. This is freaking creepy. Prison. But so these delusions can I don't want to spend some to time. No, I'm just difference. gonna crash my head. And so, Stanley <clears throat> asked, if that door never <clears throat> opened, if I'll never be <clears throat> able to walk away from those people <clears throat> this is and impossible. from these buttons, is Too this bad. life still worth experiencing? Okay. Am I actually happy? Stanley answered this question by pushing so, uh, a button. Please. Then he pushed a button, and then he pushed a button. Um, please die? Then he pushed a button. Then he pushed a button. What? What button? Written and created by Davy. Okay, so narrator wants to kill me, huh? I mean, seriously, what the hell? So, uh... Okay. Let me just go through the last ending, in my opinion. Um, yeah, uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so uh, I was going to the boss's office, but we have a decision to go down or to go up. So I decided to go get down, I think. But Stanley um, just couldn't do it. Yeah. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, of admitting that he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, was it really worth taking that risk? Okay. All because he believed everyone had disappeared. Chess, nice. His boss would think he was okay. crazy. Mm. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he Why thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Everyone <laughs> Actually, I know, I'm, I'm simply in vanishing out the of fuck? the blue, there's almost no other Guess, explanation for um, it. And a nagging fear began to creep up in his mind. Questions that had been there all along. He just hadn't put his finger on them yet. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Yeah, this how the and for game that matter, box, These rooms I were think. starting to look pretty familiar. Was he just walking around in circles? Oh. Where am I, he thought. And the more he found himself unable to answer these questions, the more questions continued to arise until he came to the issue that had been slowly bawling until he could ignore it no longer. Bawling? Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Suddenly, every door slammed shut. No, Stanley screamed. I no. need to get out of here. I need to know that there's something out there. Yeah. I need to know it's not just all in my head. And he screamed and clutched at his skull as the voice grew harsher and God the music in the background rose higher and higher. And then, moments before collapsing to the ground, Stanley clenched his fists and screamed to anyone who might be listening, I'm not real! I'm not real! Don't believe any of it! None of it's real! And then everything went black. Oh, God. This is a pretty... This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Uh... What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She got dressed, went to work, clocked in, clocked out, and then she walked home. But her walk on this day was interrupted by the body of a man 
who had stumbled through town talking oh, and screaming so that to himself, was and then collapsed dead in my head. Maybe I, I was really him, she would crazy turn, in this run to the nearest police station and mm. call for an ambulance. But for just a few but I have a question. Why do they wear these um, prison suits? The tragedy the hell? was not the death of a single person. It was that she would never know this man's story. Never hear in his own words what had happened to him. Or what he believed had happened yeah, to him. Yeah, this, is, this game is these so would be entertaining. It's so interesting. I can tell. So it was she could made in 2011, but and pity him. it's still freaking but awesome. But Mariella had places to be and people to meet with, very important people, whose impressions of her would affect her career and indeed the rest of her life. She stood there for only a moment, looking down at the body, and then she ran. Um, why? She could just call the ambulance, the police, they would help me a lot. Why? Stupid woman. Oh god dang it. I'm not... Okay, so I saved here, actually. Let's load it up. It's Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's yeah. office. So, as, I, as far as I remember, it's Stanley one once again nine five seven. Yet incredibly, yeah. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer okay. luck. Okay. So uh, today, Stanley we're ventured now. Actually, we're going to uh, get the power Stanley of the generator no to control everyone else's minds. And just I know this sounds crazy, but he might not discover a thing. it's he an awesome idea. Room to find Open up, bitch. Open up. Please. I need it. I need it. Stanley noticed, however, you know, I don't care about your monitor. You want a kiss? Number of employees who worked in the building. Yeah. Co-workers. That was hot. His own number, hot, 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 hot. Had a place on the wall. I see myself but here, man. So but I can't kiss asked. myself because I'm too high. Or get it? More. Get it? I'm high. <laughs> in answer to his question, the wall okay. slid open before him, revealing so, the ultimate truth of the situation. We actually need to push the green button. I'm very curious about that ending. The will I become the next buttons boss? Were with they will control. Happy. I think these Sad. buttons will control, control or destroy some monitors so I'll kill people. Eating, I hope. Work, Just hope. Every okay, fuck off. On this I need to go up. Monitored um, not the functions yeah. of a machine, but of a huge being. And the reality began okay. to sink in. <laughs> Stanley, like so many other people, so it's close. reduced to what images the hell? on a monitor had been under someone's control, always at the mercy of this machine. Could this have been the You see this green stuff? I'm gonna get it now. So in my that opinion, that's all the endings. This is the last one. As far he as began I remember. To feel an unbridled rage, and at the peak of his anger, something happened. A spark. Stan oh God. looked up and saw the generator overhead. I need to stop it, some small amount of power but to the machine. I want to become an Xbox that controls and these minds. That was all so it's time to, to turn it on. Oh, finally. The in the back of the room For fuck's sake. To climb towards the rafters. This is a strange ladder placement. I mean, who the fuck places it like this? <laughs> The closer he felt to freedom. Oh, awesome ventilation. As always. Okay, so, uh. I mean, I will Google if there is another endings. Like, I will Google the count. And then I will do maybe the third episode. But I'm not sure. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? I did, motherfucker. After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself? Is that what you wanted? Control? Yeah. Hell Stanley. yeah. Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. I don't care, I need this. to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do better than that. Do. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you have. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, 
Stanley suddenly realized that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How um, long until detonation then? <laughs> oh, I don't want to die. Let's make it say, um, two minutes. Okay. Now, so, so, uh, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? I think I need to build this. Play with those controls all you like. The real controls are where I'm sitting. Okay. Did you really ever working. believe you held any power? Did you not think I okay, knew what I was to get doing? Out. Just, just when I erased your co-workers and turned off the oh, machine, God I was offering it. you freedom, an escape. I didn't have to do that. I've run this story many times, and I don't always set you free. Sometimes you just sit there, day after day after day. What the hell? <laughs> I don't want to die, actually. Come on. Uh, you, can this, you can do this, you can do this. Just go, 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 go. Your own Push. Actions, it's not enough. Push. I let you go, and you trapped yourself just the same. Fucking You just weren't made Push. to handle this sort of Why responsibility. Why just flashes afraid. off? But you know what you were made for? Flash off. Pushing what the hell? Buttons. Dude, <laughs> seriously. Now? Oh, I'm enjoying this. Oh, Tell God. You, I'll throw some extra time on the clock just because I'm having so much fun. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thanks. You see, I'm gonna kill you if I want to get out. Every long you motherfucker. You try to puzzle this out. After all, it should make sense, right? No. Nope. The timer, the nuclear detonation, the mysterious facility, it's all here. This is a video game. Dude, I know. Except for one thing there, hero. Maybe this will You've got open no up. weapon, Whoa. no vehicle. You don't even know where you're going. When you saw that time, you just disable. instinctively ah. started trying to find an exit, didn't you? In fact, I bet you're still looking for a way out. I bet you're clicking on everything in this room, trying to open doors or vents or something right. and solve yeah. the puzzle. As though this game <coughs> has a solution, as though it can be won. How? That timer is not a catalyst to keep things moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. This oh, is not a challenge. God, this is a psycho. It's a tragedy. It's really? the moment when the hero realizes that despite his best yeah. efforts, he is powerless to his environment. No, then, I'm gonna survive. He lets go. He surrenders. I'm not gonna surrender. Dies. Never. 30 seconds, Stanley. 30 seconds. Until a boom. Dude, your role is 30 now. No just. ending to this story. So just shut the you fuck dying. up, you stupid ass. I suppose you could have gotten an actual ending if you played along, but that just wouldn't have been your style, would it? Yeah. Instead, you'll perish knowing that the only choice you made Let's here try was to it. turn on that machine and to start this timer. Why the fuck there is no in the room? Because I'm when not he going said anywhere. I could control all these I'll two minutes. I'll be here to watch every second fuck of him. your inevitable life from the time we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. What? Okay, this that's it? <laughs> God, this game is freaking... I don't know. Okay, so, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to add to favorites to really help me a lot. And if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button to join the rainbow and have fun with me together. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.